The newly restored shrine surrounding what is believed to be the tomb of Jesus was unveiled last week in Jerusalem. Centuries of candle smoke and visiting pilgrims had left the shrine discolored and almost black. The restoration took months of delicate work. Here again is Jonathan Vigliotti. A pinhole of light illuminates the newly restored shrine, protecting what Christians believe to be the entrance to the cave where Jesus was buried. The refurbished holy site was reopened to the public this morning, just in time for Easter in a small ceremony attended by religious leaders. The ornate building, called the Edicule, sits in the center of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, one of the world's oldest churches located in Jerusalem's old city. Millions of pilgrims visit the site each year, and all that foot traffic, along with time, took its toll, with parts coming loose and warnings that it was structurally unsound. The over three and a half million dollar restoration began in the fall. It was the first attempt at refurbishing the site in two centuries. One of the most dramatic moments came when the cave itself was revealed for the first time in 700 years. Historians found what is believed to be the bench where Jesus' body lay. It was uh, really important to see the bench very flat and uh, almost complete from the right to the left, uh, almost for, for the shape that uh, one man can stay on it. The entrance to the bench has been resealed with marble, but a small window has been added so visitors can see a section of the cave's original wall for themselves. The World Monument Fund, a nonprofit in New York, helped raise the funds for the project. The painstaking work isn't over just yet. Now money is being raised for another round of restorations to fix modern drainage and sewage pipes built around the tomb. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News, London.